Building a professional website can be difficult, but EasyWeb Content makes it easy and intuitive. There are many site building tools out there, but EasyWeb Content is special. It simplifies the complex process of building professional looking websites and it gives you complete control beyond a cookie cutter. With EasyWeb Content, you can start from our themes and fully customize your website to meet your specific business needs, down to the background, the color, and all the content you like. These are just a few examples of some of our users who have created professional looking websites using the site builder. You have complete control over the content and every other element that you want. You can eliminate elements, you can add content, you can add new items, and you can fully control images and all items that are specific to your page. So what you end up with is a professional looking website that is geared towards you and your brand and of course the easy web content interface is fairly simple and intuitive you have a few tabs style to modify the design of every single element on your page the content tab which allows you to complete control over layout elements text blocks images and media video social media icons forms e-commerce items and of course other elements such as buttons, embed codes from third party sites, blog, map, and you name it. Everything is included in easy web content so you have complete control over populating your site with all items that you want. You of course have a file manager that you can resort to, our free library with lots of assets provided and you can have your own files that you can upload your own elements when you like to your own page and reuse them as you can. The first thing you want to do is really start with your theme because you start with a default theme and if you're happy with that theme you can of course continue on and update your content as you like but most likely you want to update and find your own theme that fits your needs so you start from a uh, some of the available themes that you, we have and then you can select the one that best for example I'm going to click on this theme as you can see it updates the formatting to that theme the content does not change because if you ever want to populate your content and then switch back between themes, you can easily do that without losing any of your content. So in this case, I'm going to click on this theme. And now that I have my theme, I can actually go in and start adjusting my elements. For example, I can go ahead and click on my logo. So I go ahead and click on the logo. Every element you click on has a little settings tab. So you click on the element, you click the settings, and now I have the pop-up. I can actually go ahead and switch my logo if I have a file I can upload my own file or I can just go ahead and click here and just enter my own text for a logo and that's it I click apply and I've updated my logo field now let's say I want to update and adjust my color scheme a little bit more I can go back to the theme area this is my global theme where I have full control over everything and click on the color scheme I can actually go ahead and select from some of the available color schemes that are out there. So let's say I click on this one. And if you notice, the background is an image. It doesn't change, but the colors of my font and logos adjust. So I'll keep clicking until I find the one that I like. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead. And, I'm going to go ahead and stay with this one. But you have further control, so you can go to every item and element that you want and then actually adjust the color. So text color, I can go ahead and adjust that if I need to. Or I can go ahead and update my footer text and all other elements. I can also go to the side background. If there's a global background, I can go ahead and add my own background if I like. Or I can change my background color if I wish. Font styles. These are global font styles. I can click on any of these and if you notice, it automatically modifies the entire font of my site to the font that I just selected. So you can globally modify and select the font that you like. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and stay with this one. Now let's go ahead. I want to update this color. I don't like this orange color. It doesn't really reflect my site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the, item, on the element. I'm going to go ahead to the corner, click on it, and there's a little blue button, and I click background. If you notice on the left side, I'm on my style. I can actually go ahead and choose a color that I want. So I can go ahead and let's say choose a blue, dark blue color, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. There we go. I've got myself a nice background color. Now in here I have a three column setup. Maybe I don't like this color setup, this uh, column setup. So I'm going to go ahead, click to the very corner when I get the outline, and I click it, 
and now I can see that I have a three column area perhaps I want to switch to a four column or maybe I want to back, go back to a three or maybe I really just want a two column content by clicking two I'm gonna delete the last column but I'm gonna end up with a two column area so there we go and now I have a two column area I can actually modify my text and formatting to fit the area that I want to have. so every element of your page you have control over you can go ahead and actually click on an image you can edit the image you can fully modify the image with the image editor or go to your general settings go ahead and upload your own file and switch to a file that you like so every element can be modified now let's go to another page I'm gonna go to our about page I click on it and then go to this page so I click on the page and I'm on the about us page so again I have my content here and then I can decide between orienting my content if I want to go ahead and add something I go to my content area and then I, let's say I want to update and add a text field so I simply drag and drop it to an area of my page that I want there I go and I can go ahead and update and adjust that content to fit my needs you can modify the color highlight and every aspect of your text easily you can even go and update the spacing and other element uh, areas of your text such as line height indentation and now let's talk about pages these are my default pages I simply go to the pages area I have the list of my pages and let's say I want to actually add a page I go and click create a page and I'll be able to add a page and start and populate it or let's say I don't want my about page to be called about I go to the right here and I can go ahead and update the text and I hit done and there I go I have an about us page and let's say I want to create a drop down menu I want to put the testimonials under the about us I go ahead and drag and drop it to the right of the about us and if you notice I've created a drop down menu I roll over my about us there I go I have a drop down menu I want to update my navigation so I click the style my navigation I get the style pop-up and let's say I want to change the color of the area that my background is under there's my menu block there's my color and let's say I want to make it just a random black color for a change there I go and I want to update my drop down menu so I go and click on drop down menu there's my design and let's say I want to make that also be a dark black color so I go ahead select color apply and then I go to font I make my font a light color and there you go I've got a drop down menu and maybe I don't want any borders around it so there I go I have a drop down menu for my about us page it's that simple you have full control over every aspect of your page when you're all done you can publish it you can keep coming back and you can continue updating and editing and adding pages as many as you want that's the beauty of easy web content please refer to other tutorials for additional information and happy site building